The MiG-21, whose NATO codename is Fishbed, was undoubtedly the most iconic combat aircraft of the Eastern Bloc in the First Cold War. It would be improper to think of this fighter jet only as a flying machine. This aircraft is also one of the best guidebooks to understand the Soviet air warfare doctrines and perceptions of engineering. Today we're investigating the MiG-21, the killer MiG. The MiG-21 fiercely fought against the Western powers, although the US and Soviet armies did not engage in hot conflicts throughout the first Cold War years. For the West, the Fishbed was one of the most feared opponents in the skies. Even the Israeli pilots, who gained many air victories against them, deeply respected the MiG-21. The rivalry between the Western and Eastern led to the rapid development of aerospace technologies. So, the highly successful Soviet combat jets of the 1950s became obsolete a couple of years after they had been introduced. Now, it was time for the Mach 2 fighters. In 1954, Mikhail OKB finished a preliminary design study for the YE-1 prototype, which was the first step in the creation of the MiG-21. But the planned engine was under power, so the company developed a redesigned second prototype called the YE-2. These two aircraft had swept wings. Later, Mikhail and OKB developed the YE-4, simply a YE-2 with delta wings. The YE-4 made its maiden flight on June 16, 1955. With the YE-6 prototype, which met the sky on May 20, 1958, the aircraft had its final shape and entered into service in 1959 as the MiG-21F. It was a short-range ground-controlled interceptor for point defense. In this respect, the MiG-21 was a manned air defense missile. It was designed to scramble when the radars detected a threat. Then the ground control units directed the aircraft, which climbed to high altitudes rapidly toward the incoming hostile bomber. Even though the USSR had already worked on a MiG-21 variant with air-to-air -air missile firing capability in 1958, the early production models only had a range-finding radar and two cannons. In the later aircraft, the fire control system of the R-3 air-to-air missile, whose NATO reporting name is AA-2 Atoll, replaced one of the guns. Even though it was designed as a point-defense interceptor, the MiG-21 was also a capable lightweight fighter. It was an easy-to-produce and low-cost combat jet. Besides, this simple aircraft did not require a highly trained ground crew for the maintenance work. So, the fish bed was perfect for the Warsaw Pact countries, which were preparing for a total war. Also, it was an ideal fighter for pro-Moscow states, which newly gained their independence from former European empires. To adapting new technologies and combat requirements, the Soviet Union constantly improved the MiG-21. Also. Many users upgraded their fish beds in different modernization programs. So, the MiG-21 had numerous variants. We will not mention them to keep our video short and sweet. Still, we should cite that three different fish bed generations were brought to life. The first generation bore interceptor characteristics and forthcoming generations had fighter features. In the first generation, the canopy was hinged at the front and connected to the ejection seat to make a capsule that enclosed the pilot. The engineers had preferred this design to protect the pilot from high-speed airflow encountered during the high-speed ejections. However, ejecting at low altitudes caused the canopy to take too long to separate, which resulted in fatal incidents from time to time. Thus, in the second generation, the canopy was hinged on the right side of the cockpit. The second generation MiG-21s had gun pods instead of an internal cannon. The internal guns returned in the third generation. The first generation models of the aircraft had one 56.4 kN Tumansky R11F300 turbojet. The second generation PF version had a model of this engine that provides 60 kN thrust. And the latest BIS version had one 97.1 kN Tumansky R25300 turbojet engine. The latest single-seat BIS variant of the MiG-21 has a length of 14.7 meters, 
a wingspan of 7.15 meters and a height of 4.1 meters. Its wing area is 23 square meters. The aircraft's empty weight is 5,460 kilograms, while its maximum takeoff weight is 10,400 kilograms. One 97.1 kilonewton Tumansky R25-300 turbojet engine provides a top speed of Mach 2.05. The aircraft has a range of 793 kilometers. Its service ceiling is 17,500 meters, in other words, 57,400 feet. The MiG-21 BIS has one 23 millimeter Gusha 23L auto cannon and five hardpoints with an up to 1,300 kilogram weapon carrying capability. It can be equipped with the K-13, R-55, and R-60 air-to-air -air missiles, rocket pods and free-fall bombs. The MiG-21s participated in many wars. In November 1965, the Vietnam People's Air Force 921st Fighter Regiment received 16 MiG-21F-13s. The following year, the MiG-21 PF models entered service. The radar of this version, the RP-21 Sapir, had a limited range. Due to the ground reflection effect, it was also unreliable and inefficient at altitudes lower than 910 meters, in other words, 2,985 feet. Still, its armored cockpit gave an advantage to the aircraft in a dogfight. On November 23, 1965, Vietnamese MiG-21s performed the first interception mission against the U.S. Air Force. Three days later, they encountered their nemesis for the first time. The winner was the U.S. pilots. The B variant of the Phantom IIs scored the first air victory against the MiG-21s in October 1966. But in three months, the situation began to change. The F-4, which did not have a gun, was designed to engage six targets in a single sortie. It had a highly capable radar and the AIM-7 Sparrow beyond visual range missiles. Nevertheless, radar-guided air-to-air missiles were still primitive and had a low kill ratio. The North Vietnamese quickly discovered the F-4's soft underbelly and implemented new guerrilla dogfight tactics. Now, the North Vietnamese MiG-17s, approaching from low altitudes, forced the US escort fighters of an attack column to dogfight. Then, the MiG-21s, patrolling at high altitudes, entered the scene and hunted the unprotected bombers. This new tactic was highly efficient. Still, the Empire struck back with Operation Bolo. On January 2, 1967, the US Air Force F-4s flew a mission along the flight paths typically used by the bombers during the Rolling Thunder. The Vietnamese naturally responded to this column with the same tactics. The MiG-21 pilots, who expected to find heavily loaded fighter bombers, had to encounter Phantom IIs. Seven fish pets fell victim to this well-organized trap. We should note that North Vietnam has acknowledged only five losses. Still, in October 1967, in exchange for every MiG-21, the US forces lost three aircraft. In the first three months of 1968, the MiG-21s shot down 16 US aircraft in exchange for five losses. When the war ended, Vietnamese MiG-21s had won 121 victories against A-4, EB-66, F-4, F-8, F-105, and RF-101s, and the US aircraft shut down only 92 fish beds. Due to the MiG-21 threat, many US bombers had to drop their bomb load before they reached their targets. So, the MiG-21 made many US air raids unsuccessful. During the war, 16 MiG-21 pilots became aces. But we should add that the US pilots returned home after completing 100 combat sorties very few pilots served in Vietnam for a second time. On the other hand, many Vietnamese pilots fought throughout the war, which made them advantageous. The MiG-21s did not have the same success in the Middle East. In August 1966, Iraqi pilot Captain Munir Ratfa defected to Israel in a MiG-21. So, the Israel Air Force tested the aircraft and learned the weaknesses of the fish bed well. For example, the MiG-21s was not a maneuverable combat jet below 390 km per hour and over 950 km per hour. 
The fuel pump of the aircraft could not provide enough fuel to the afterburner after 3,650 meters, in other words, 11,975 feet. The Israeli Mirage 3 CJs had higher horizontal maneuverability than the MiG-21s. Until the Six-Day War in 1967, the Israeli pilots fought against fish beds five times and shot down eight of them without a loss. On June 5, 1967, most MiG-21s were destroyed while waiting on the runway. Still, three Egyptian MiG-21s could take off under heavy bombardment and shut down an Urago and a Mystère 4A. Although it had a numerical advantage, Egypt had many disadvantages besides an unexpected ambush during the Six-Day War. As a point defense interceptor, the MiG-21 was supposed to work coordinately with radar-supported ground control units. However, Egypt's radar coverage was significantly limited and fish beds had to go beyond this range frequently. The RP-21 Safi radar of the aircraft was ineffective under a 910 meter altitude. So, the Israeli Mirage 3 CJs approached the MiG-21 by flowing at low altitudes and caught MiGs by surprise. And well-trained Israeli pilots knew all about the capabilities of their aircraft and the MiG-21. On the other hand, Arab pilots suffered from lesser flight hours and limited training offered by the Soviets. Also, performing numerous tactical trials with Mirage 3 CJs before the war, the Israeli Air Force had realized that air-to-air -air missiles were not as effective as they seemed on paper. For this reason, the Israeli pilots had been well trained in how to use cannons effectively. The Egyptian pilots had neither such training nor efficient auto cannon on the fish bed. When the 1967 Arab-Israeli war began, cannon pods were yet to be fitted onto the Egyptian aircraft. Moreover, the R-3 air-to-air -air missiles had extremely poor performance. The Soviet-style command structure of the Arab Air Forces was also highly complicated, slow and ineffective. After the war, Israel had many pilots with invaluable combat experience. On the contrary, the Arabs had colossal wreckage in their hands. Under these circumstances, both sides became involved in the War of Attrition. Until August 1969, the Israeli Air Force shut down 21 Egyptian aircraft, including MiG-21s. Still, on December 9, 1969, First Lieutenant Ahmed Atif shut down an Israeli F-4 Phantom II. Also, the Soviet Union sent some well-trained MiG-21 pilots to Egypt. Now, three new Egyptian MiG-21 squadrons were flown by Soviet pilots. This situation caused Israel to step back temporarily. Then, Israeli Air Force conducted Operation Rimon 20 on July 30, 1970. The best pilots of the Israeli Air Force, most of whom were so-called aces, lured six MiG-21s into a trap. After a brief engagement, five of them were shut down without any loss. Egyptian MiG-21 pilots who gained considerable experience and developed new tactics throughout the War of Attrition, scored more achievements at least at the outset of the 1973 Yom Kippur War. Nevertheless, they never gained superiority against their Israeli counterparts. Still, during the wars between Israel and the Arab countries, five Egyptian and seven Syrian MiG-21 pilots became aces. When the F-15 and F-16s were involved in the game, the legend of the Arab MiG-21s ended for good. According to Indian sources, the MiG-21 FLs of the Indian Air Force shut down four F-104As, two Shenyan F-6 and one F-86 Sabre and one C-130 Hercules during the 1971 Indo-Pakistan War. But the Pakistani have only acknowledged two F-104A losses. The MiG-21s were also used by the Iraqi Air Force against Iran in large-scale wars. From 1980 to 1988, Iraqi MiG-21s shut down 43 Iranian fighters. Besides, they were used in relatively low-intensity wars in various corners of the world. The Fishbat is the most produced supersonic jet aircraft. Until 1986, more than 12,300 MiG-21s were manufactured in three different factories. Meanwhile, 
194 and 657 aircraft were produced under license in Czechoslovakia and India, respectively. Also, China developed and produced local variants of the MiG-21s until 2013. We will mention the J-7 in a different video. Paving the way for establishing dogfight training schools in the United States like Top Gun, the MiG-21 also became the main force behind the development of the F-16 Fighting Falcon. This aircraft is the most iconic jet fighters of the first Cold War. Nearly 60 countries across four continents have flown the MiG-21. More than 10 air forces are still operating this weirdly charming jet, even though the fish bed does not have a combat value. The MiG-21 is undoubtedly a true legend. Thanks for watching our video. And please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the bell button to be notified of our new videos. Also, you can now click the join button to support our channel. And as always, we would greatly appreciate all of your likes, comments and shares.